Hello everyone, welcome to my channel where we talk about the things we love like gaming, shows, and anime. Today we're gonna take a look at a cool character. So cool, he gives you chills. Of course I'm talking about Cooler, Freeze's older brother. It took me quite a while to gather some facts that I didn't even know about, so this should be a surprising list for the viewers. Now, without any more delays, let's begin. Number 10. The movie title for the first Cooler movie is called Dragon Ball Z Cooler's Revenge. But Toei's version and the Spanish version is called Dragon Ball Z The Strongest Rivals. But for the Japanese title, they went with Dragon Ball Z The Incredible Mightiest vs. Mightiest. Huh? Number 9. In Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi 3, if Cooler takes on Frieza, he will say, Time to find out who's the strongest in the universe. If he wins, he'll say, Frieza, you should know better than to challenge your big brother. If he fights his father, King Cold, he'll say, I will soon carry the legacy of our people. If he wins, he'll say, There is nothing to worry about. Die in peace. Number 8. When Cooler arrives on Earth, he was set on finding the one person who killed his brother. He thought Goku was the one who killed Frieza, but he only defeated Frieza. He was featured Trunks who killed Frieza, including their father. Maybe the movie would have been more exciting if featured Trunks was the protagonist instead of Goku. Number 7. In the Japanese version, the voice actor for Cooler is Ryusei Naka. I hope I said that correctly. But anyways, this is the same voice actor for Frieza. Number 6. Cooler and Cell are the only two villains who learn the instant transmission after coming back from supposedly being dead. Number 5. Cooler is cooler than Frieza. Okay, that's a fact, but I won't count it here. Here's a real awesome fact. The American version of Cooler's Revenge gave us a kick-ass soundtrack featuring rock bands like Drowning Pool, Dust for Life, Breaking Point, Deftones, and even Disturbed. Number 4. In the movie Fusion Reborn, a shitload of villains come back from hell, but Cooler isn't even seen anywhere. That sucks because he's shown in the cover of the movie. Number 3. Gohan's derpy dragon pet Icarus is last seen in the movie Cooler's Revenge, and the last moment we see him is when Salza shoots a key blast at him. I guess Icarus died that moment because he's never seen again and Gohan doesn't mention him ever again. Number 2. In the game Dragon Ball Z Super Sonic Warriors 2, Cooler has a what if scenario where Mecha Frieza joins him in taking over Earth. Frieza later tries to betray him so Cooler takes him on and ends up killing Mecha Frieza. He then proceeds to kill off his own father to have complete control over the universe. Number 1. Also in Dragon Ball Z Super Sonic Warriors 2, there's a what if scenario where Cooler revives Zarbon, Dodoria, and the Ginyu Force with the Dragon Balls and they join his army to take down anyone that gets in his way. One particular enemy that gets in his way happens to be Perfect Cell. Cooler knows that Cell is much more stronger than he is, so he asks Zarbon, Dodori, and the Ginyu Force to help him defeat Cell. They surprisingly end up defeating Cell, and before the fight, Cooler had agreed to take part in a large group pose with Zarbon, Dodori, and the Ginyu Force, to which he does in the end. Well, that's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it, and if so, then don't forget to drop a like and subscribe if you haven't. Also, let me know in the comments which character would you like to see next. It could be anyone outside of Dragon Ball Z such as Mortal Kombat, Resident Evil, fucking Star Wars, whatever you got in mind. With that said, see you all tomorrow and remember to have an awesome day.